Bonafide Hustler here, another thrift vlog. Let's see what we get into in this video. What's going on guys and gals? Chris the Bonafide Hustler coming to you live from the outside of the gym that I go to. Yeah, I'm starting the day today with a workout and um, should be pretty fun. Don't forget to follow me at the Bonafide Hustler and you can also get this free money-making guide. The first link down below, it'll teach you 50 items on what to buy and resell that you can make money on. Okay, so yeah, start the day off with some good stuff like working out. Let's knock it out real quick and then we'll see what we can get into. I have to sell a bike later on. Let's go. So today I have a full body workout. It's a lot of stuff going down. It's probably about an hour and a half in the gym. That was a great workout. Feeling good. Just had a conference call with the company that I also work for. So that's kind of cool. Now that that's all done, I have a lady coming to pick up a bike for 220 bucks. I believe I'm either 40 or 100 into this bike. I cannot remember. Speaking of bikes, I picked up a really cool bike last night. Oh my gosh. But it did smoke up an hour and 15 minutes of my time to and from. Uh, but it was such a great deal. I'll show you that in the garage here soon. But let's go look at the bike that's about to sell. So here's that bike right here. This is a Trek 700 hybrid bike. Really nice with a low step through frame. Really nice bike. Very dependable. Um, this should sell for around 220 although I do have a person that wants to buy it for like 260 if this person passes. But yeah, it's a nice bike. I believe it's a 41 or a 16 inch frame. Pretty cool. And yeah, since it's a hybrid bike, it's a very wanted bike in most towns. Here in Austin, Texas, people ride a lot, so should go pretty quick. I won't take a penny less than 220 um, and if the person passes on it, then I have a chance to sell it for 260 I It might even be 280 for all I know. I lose track of certain things because I do deal with bikes a lot you know so i remember certain things the bike i did buy last night was 150 bucks and i think it will resell for like 500 or so but yeah let's get this one sold it looks like the person is here let's go kind of an interesting turn of events they wanted to fit both of the bikes in that car and they don't live too far from here you know maybe 10 minutes maybe five minutes and so i opted to sell two bikes to them for 220 a piece um both bikes, were both bikes were originally listed at 280. So taking 220, you know, like I moved two bikes today, 440 cash, I think I'm gonna do it. So rather than them destroy the interior of their car, um, I'm just gonna be a nice little guy and <laughs> drive it over to them in the tiny little micro egg spaceship right here. There they go, another turn of events. They actually took the two bikes. I don't, I don't know why they did, but they wanted to take them home and try. So we stuffed them in that Mazda. And uh, yeah, here's 440 bucks just chilling right here. Cheddar weather, bikes to bucks, I'm all about it. So the other bike was a Trek multi-track, which is kind of like a hybrid-ish bike. It's like half hybrid, half mountain bike. That bike I was $35 into and I sold that one for 220. So I have 440 bucks here. The first bike sold for 220, second bike sold for 220. And uh, that's where we are right now. Let's get into the garage and I'll show you five things that sold on eBay that I have to make sure go out today. All right, here's the bike I found yesterday night. Spent an hour and 15 minutes to and from getting this bike. This brakes, amazing specialized roll sport. It's a 2020 model. This bike is around $650 new. And this is in perfect condition, like super mint condition. As you can see, got it for 150 bucks. Should be able to resell it for around five to $600 pretty quickly. And it even has the disc brake option. Five things sold on eBay. So here are the five things. Uh, Two of them are sitting right here. They're not boxed up yet, but they gotta get boxed up right now. I think I was eight bucks into these. They sold for 105. Those are some Red Wing mock toe boots. Pretty cool, not too bad. Even the underside, kind of, you know, wacky looking, but still sold for some great money right there. Also, this $4 find right here sold for $95. I think it's going to Germany or something like that. Original 1991 Playmates TMNT Leonardo in the actual plastic with all the stuff. Yeah, not something you see every day. I saw this at a Goodwill um, about a week ago or something like that. Yeah, pretty nice. I mean, what a survivor, right? Comment down below, what do you think? Leonardo, Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael, what team are you part of? So cool. Even has the card on the back too that you can cut out. Look at that, so neat. 
Here are three other things that sold. We have some Z coil high top reds. I'll flash a picture on the screen right here. I think I'm ten dollars into these. Um, I think I sold them for sixty five or something like that. Maybe a little bit more. I'm not one hundred percent sure. We have some Red Wing low cut uh, boots here, kind of suede looking. Um, these I think I'm ten or twenty bucks into. I believe these sold for a hundred and ten or a hundred and five. They're sitting in this right here. And then we have a Gustin bag right here, which is actually part of a Kickstarter campaign, this bag. Um, this bag was around, I think, $10 at a Goodwill, and I believe I sold it for 85. So it's sitting in this box right here. All these things need to get out of here, and then, um, yeah, desperately looking for more bikes. Of course, uh, tomorrow is the day before New Year's on this video, and so I don't expect there to be any garage sales or anything like that, but I will try to thrift hard this weekend and find some cool stuff. I'm gonna make sure to take you guys with me. So if you're enjoying this kind of stuff, you have to hit the like button. It will make me wanna film more things, you know? That's right, it's the next day, and I'm actually garage sailing. I'm gonna go see like three garage sales, and I'm gonna pick up a wandered backpack, like a camera backpack. So I gotta meet someone for that too. But there's a garage sale right here, uh, you know, see if there's anything cool, never know. All right, so I got, actually, this garage sale was actually pretty interesting. I got this glass vase that I might ask about one or 200 bucks for in the booth. Looks pretty cool. Also got, and I paid 10 bucks for everything. Actually, 11 bucks. Got this cool little vintage hat. Little blues and jazz thing here. We got a Polaroid camera in there. Then we got a, <laughs> three hand puppets of all things, but they're so weird and obscure that I'm pretty sure I can do something cool with this. All right, so that's what I found at this garage sale. We'll see what these things end up selling for. Let's go to the next one. All right, next garage sale sitting right there. Let's see if we find anything at this one. It looks interesting, that's for sure. Didn't find anything at that last garage sale. Here's the last one of the day that I'm going to see. I see a bike over there. Maybe I can pick it up. Let's go. Let's check it out. All right, so, you know, the bikes were just high priced. They were cool bikes though. They were cool bikes. The red one, $200, the green one behind it. There was another one behind it, uh, $300. You know, the red one for 200 bucks for a personal bike was a good deal. But for resale, not a good deal. Anyway, interesting garage sales. I'm glad I went out. I found some cool stuff. And uh, now it's time to go buy a camera bag. It's like 20 minutes away. So yeah, I'm gonna go get a wandered 21 liter uh, camera bag pretty neat let's go check it out all right so i just got done with this goodwill right here they were playing some music inside it was a little little loud so i picked up these corral boots so sick ten dollars and 37 cents should be able to sell them for about one to two hundred bucks beautiful condition look at those things dang yeah when it comes to boots especially embroidered tooled kind of boots like this you're gonna want to look at corral for sure uh, lucchese things like that even dan post have some good ones and the boot just hit the ground. Oh no, oh no, oh no. It's okay, you're still profitable, it's okay. All right, so I'm leaving a Starbucks right there because I just picked up this wandered bag right here. It's called a, I don't know how to really say it. It's like called a Perverky or something like that. I don't know, it's really hard to say it and spell it and everything, but here it is, a 21 liter camera bag. Um, pretty amazing in this little compartment on the back side of the bag is what actually houses the camera the storage cube for the camera, all that kind of stuff. And it puts the camera against your back so nobody can steal it kind of thing. Really good bag, should sell for 150, 200. But I'm gonna make sure I don't wanna use it first. It's a pretty nice bag. And yeah, I spent 50 bucks on it. Found it on Facebook Marketplace for 75, made a $50 cash offer, guy took it. All right guys, so I'm back at the house and I think the vase from the garage sales was an epic, epic find. So this right here, right? I believe it's an L.E. Smith mid-century modern swung glass vase in really good condition, right? And it looks like it has some imperfections and all that kind of stuff, but that's just how the glass was blown or whatever. There's no cracks in this thing. It is in perfect condition. Look at that. It's got the ribbed bottom to it. It's just beautiful. That was part of the deals yesterday. Now, this vase right here, since it's about pocket high, it's a pretty big vase, um, I do think it's worth somewhere in the vicinity of $500 to $1,000. I'm serious. So, um, you know, this is not some just random thing on your countertop that you put there. This is serious. I mean, this is as high as like the pockets on my shorts when I stand up next to it. So that's pretty cool. I'm about to list it right now and 
see if there's any interest. I think I'm gonna do a local pickup first to see what happens. But I might also put this in the booth, but I'm kind of scared that it might get trashed. So what do you guys think down below? Comment, first of all, how cool is that find? And second of all, should I put it in the booth? Should I take that risk? I mean, definitely people in the booth would appreciate something like this, but I really think this thing is destined for eBay. Hmm, tough decisions. So next day, I'm about to go hit a workout and this car is full of stuff. We got like the little puppet things from the garage sale right there, satin jacket. Uh, we have even a, you know, record player a turntable right there. And we have a chair in the background, black globe. I'm not sure I showed that on the uh, vlog yet, but yeah, I found this like giant anthropology black globe for 15 bucks at a Goodwill. Should sell for around 120 to 140 in the booth, I would think. Um, but yeah, the car's kind of filled up with a bunch of random stuff. So I'll be hitting the booth later on and dropping a lot of this stuff off. And the glass vase is sitting here too. I think I'm just going to leave it in the booth. I'm going to take that risk and see what happens. Maybe I'll place it somewhere high so no kids can come around it and topple it over. But I don't know. What do you guys think? So kind of something interesting, I actually had these two completely run down bikes that I got for free, one at a garage sale and one off of Facebook Marketplace. I thought I could use some of the parts on some of these bikes, but you know, they kind of just sat in the backyard and started rotting away. So I listed them for 40 bucks uh, about two weeks ago and someone was like, yeah, put them outside your front door and I'll put you 40 bucks outside uh, the mat. So this morning I put them here and is there money under the mat? Let's see. I have no idea, I have not looked. Oh, snap. I think there's money in there. 40 bucks. Come on, 40 bucks. Whoa, there's like something else in here. What does it say? Huh, he has a picture of my ad. Whoa, 40 cash. Look at that. He has a picture of my ad. Hilarious. So I totally went to the booth today and I forgot to film. I just have, I don't know, I get really excited about dropping things off and just getting things to market like they're you know, supposed to be. But I'm sitting in this parking lot 